Hello everyone. So in today's video, I'm going to see what the temperature of my Dell Precision T3500 is without a fan. So a Dell Precision T3500 and the T5500 and the T7500 don't come with a dedicated uh, heatsink fan for the CPU. So the air flow goes like this. The front panel has a fan which sucks the air in from the front panel. And that is supposed to be the heatsink fan for the Dell Precision T3500. And in my opinion, that is not enough airflow to keep the CPU cool. So what I'm going to show you right now is the temperature of my Dell Precision T. 3500 computer so right now the CPU temperature is I have the setting to Fahrenheit because that that's what I'm more familiar with is with the English system opposed to the SI or system international which is uh, in Celsius or metric system um, so right now I have six cores With hyper threading so it shows up as 12. Let me move this up a little bit kind of like get up. Temperatures hovering around 90 to 97 degrees Fahrenheit and this is just a stock cooler right now. It could go as low as 77, but let's say it's from about 80 to 97 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. So now I'm going to go to my uh, computer and upgrade the, um, put a fan on it, uh, preferably an 80 millimeter case fan which I used on my Dell Precision T5500 and I got pretty good results with it. Uh, the temperature went down substantially even when I played games or did something intensive. So we're gonna do the, I'm gonna do the same test with the Dell Precision T3500, okay? <laughs>
my computer. So now I'm back on my computer. Going to my Dell Precision T3500. And this is the temperature with the fan. And as you can see, it's pretty good. It's anywhere from 70 to 73 to sometimes as low as 60. 81, okay. I guess 63 to 79 degrees. I guess the average, we'll take the average of this. Average all across the board, let's see. It's about 86 degrees average Fahrenheit. This is not bad. It's much cooler than before. That Putting that fan in does actually um, lower the CPU temperature. So it's actually working. So if you have any questions, you could leave them in the comment section below. And uh, thanks for watching.